global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Global Happiness Today YouTube channel. This is Breaking. Remember we did promise you some few hours ago that the verdict is coming up some few minutes from now and it's really coming up in quick succession uh, where the reverse crisis, where Martin and Mowele and the 25 lawmakers filed a suit you know, against the River State, the Clark, DSS and self-prepared depending on which of the, the uh, supporters you are in. Most definitely some persons will not, this will not sit well with them. Uh, the fears are really mounting up as the court uh, of appeal so a few minutes ago really squashed the order barring martina moele and the 24 lawmakers the court sitting in abuja the court of appeal sitting in abuja has nullified the expulsion of martina moele and the 24 orders from the river state house of assembly by the river state high court a three-member panel of the court ruled that the lower court lacked the jurisdiction to grant the expert order now the court the appeal court held that the expert order was made without jurisdiction and therefore is null and void. Now, according to the court section 273, I think that again, 272, subsection 3 of the Constitution gives the Federal High Court powers to determine whether the seat of the House of Assembly member has become vacant. It held that the Federal High Court has the exclusive jurisdiction to determine if the seat has become vacant. The appeal court further added that the express mention of the Federal High Court in Section 272, Subsection 3 of the Constitution automatically excludes all state high courts from having that jurisdiction. Abba, my colleague is in the house. This is getting very interesting. In the house, more details are finding the for the now. The first verdict seems to have favored Martins uh, Mowele. Now they have stopped. That particular appeal, Barry Martin and Morelle, they squashed it really, which means right now they can parade themselves as uh, lawmakers. I don't know if this will sit down well with um, Rivers Indigenous, the likes of Asari Dokubo. Had the warning concerning this that uh, democracy, if you check our playlist, get to see where he actually warned some few hours ago that. Uh, uh, Bola Matinobo should not give the whole of Rivers to Wiki, that Wiki is one man and he shouldn't actually look at Rivers and trade um, Rivers, take the piece of Rivers for one man, yes, or Wiki. I see they're feeling it already. And if you notice also, they kept on shifting the verdict until today. And today, actually, they made it the last verdict to be heard. And to make matters interesting, they're already barring this. I don't know how Fobara would take this. And uh, well, my colleague is in the house. Uh, I, I don't know how this will play out, but they're, they're still on it. Okay, so they're still on it. But the fact that we are already getting feelers, why you for the for for the justices and the courts to squash that barren? It doesn't speak well. I'm already feeling the vibes, and I can tell you, some persons will be celebrating others. And now, if Amerile is reinstated one way or the other, it means that this newly uh, the, court, the, the the elections will definitely not hold come October 5th. In fact, I can feel the ripples. And it also means also uh, that um, uh, Mawele will be reinstating all the local government chairmen uh, that their extension. In fact, it doesn't speak well either which way. Well, it, it's going to be quite a serious one for the person of uh, Fubara, the governor of River State, taking into consideration the impact on of it is not just a victory alone, but the impact of it will be virtually on everything. I think that was the reason why the likes of uh, uh, Samuel Wan or CK, Chidi Lloyd, and other local government chairmen were standing their ground because already they knew that someone something was bringing under. So they knew that even if uh, he brings in any other person, they were so sure that uh, a time like this will come that they will be reinstated because I, I know so well that merely they come back again, the next thing will be trashing all the CTC chairmen and um, bringing in the other guys. Though that one, that case already is um, separated from this one, you know. Um, but, but, but permit me to say, if this continues this way, we are literally saying one man is very powerful, though the man is behind the scene. Because if this continues, it looks like even if you look at the feel, the feelers we're getting on the streets of rivers, you would say that the people have moved on with Fubara. Mm -hmm. They have moved away from Barra. Now, the, the court verdict turning everything back, not barring, not, not squashing the barring of this 
25 lawmakers. It means that they can now parade themselves as lawmakers. Oh, what oh, oh, Jumbo have done, Victor Jumbo have done, is not yeah, yeah, and void. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thereby exposing Fubara, and that also means all these caretaker committees also null and, and void. void. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be very serious. I, I would have said that they should have allowed the sleeping dog to lie, judging what happened recently happened in Kenya. Well, for um, the judiciary, they had already told Fubara before now. Everything should be on hold, you know, before now. But Fubara just decided to progress. And I, I don't blame him because that is what is obtainable in our country, Nigeria. The judiciary seems to have lost virtually everything in terms of respect. So even when they said, hold on, he proceeded with the CTC uh, chairman and members inauguration. And, you know, the election is about taking place. But, you know, the situation is it, going to really, um, it's going to affect the progress of things in River State. Oh, my because God. it's going to be a case of back and forth, back and forth. Um, Simfu Barra, being the executive governor, will not condescend to align them to run the show for his government because that's what they are trying to do. The legislature is trying to use their own power, you know, to run the show in River State, undermining him. Even when he tries to uh, bring up his executive power, you see them playing it down. So, right now, a lot of things are going to fall down. For example, those commissioners that he brought in, is, they are going to drop them. Everything is going to be dropped. And, uh, so it is like as if uh, the legislature My God. is going to rule. Uh, he won't allow that to happen. So we are going to see a situation whereby the case is going to move from appeal court to Supreme Court. And um, before you know, new cases, new issues are going to come up every now and then. So it's going to be a case of back and forth. And I, I tell you the whole truth. After a while, the people themselves will scream. And who, before we know, even the lawmakers will feel it because they are, they are going to go extra mile with it. So, whatever that happens, at the end of the day, I, I think that the lawmakers, if they are rational enough, if they want to keep making wicked their God and, you know, uh, give him their worship, they should also talk to him about the people. Because, whatever wicked, whatever wicked is, as far as Nigeria is concerned, wicked is an individual. Wicked is not a nation. Do you understand? Wicked is just an individual. There are millions of people in River State. So whatever you guys are trying to do, you have to take into consideration the people. And I can assure you that if at the end of the day, they successfully impeach the Fubara, successfully impeach Fubara, which is going to be a long process, they successfully impeach Fubara, uh, what will happen is that there's going to be huge frustration. You know, because if they successfully impeach him, APC will not allow PDP to take over that office again. You know, if they successfully impeach Fubara, that means that uh, we can see a powerful person we can actually stop King Gibe from becoming the senator in Abuja. I... That's what and, and another thing I noticed is the fact that there have been this clarion call by EFCC that they don't want any form of protest, even ahead of this verdict. And the fact that Wiki is already building and taking of construct approval have been gotten constructing uh, courthouses in Abuja. And if eventually this case moves to Supreme Court, come on. This I, I don't know how this will play out, but I feel that they should have allowed the people's will to prevail. Well, well, well let, let's see how it's going to, because the, the two things are involved. The next thing we will hear is settlement out of court. And settlement out of court will automatically be in favor of Wiki. We all know that it will be in favor of Wiki. And this guy will feel terrible. So it's going to be a case of the people are going to suffer. The but people let, are going to really, really suffer in this. But, but, but those, let's, let's not preempt the full judgment because this is the first layer. More details are coming. I will we'll give you full details as it keeps coming. That's good. Global happenings today.